the lesson for Thursday, April 2nd, um, and today I want to talk to you about summarizing nonfiction. So nonfiction readers who understand what they read can write a summary of informational passages. And this is a great way to check your understanding, and it also is a great way to lock in all the important details that you learned and the main idea. Um, if we're looking at these informational reading learning progressions, we can see that third graders um, can ask themselves what a text is mostly about. And they can figure out the main idea by looking for pop-out sentences, or and they definitely say the main idea in more than just one word. And you want to make sure that the main idea you get has most of the text, not just that of a section. They can choose important supporting details that go with that main idea that they found, and you summarize briefly. You want to make sure you only include important details that go with your main idea. When you're writing a nonfiction summary, it's important to first understand that a summary is a shortened version of a longer reading that tells the big ideas of a summary and the most important supporting details. Here are some pro tips. Keep your summary short, three to five sentences. You are not reading very long articles, so you won't need a very long summary. Write about the main idea and a few supporting details, typically one supporting detail from each section. Do not copy from the text. Say it in your own words. And please don't include your opinion. Here's an example. So we've read this section growing up from penguins a bunch of times. And today I wrote a summary. It might look like my summary is very long. Um, let's count how many sentences. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and that's a pretty long summary for such a short passage. I did take it a big font that probably makes it look longer. So here I read the passage first and then I wrote penguins change as they grow. That's Big idea. At first, penguins' parents have to hunt for them. That's kind of where I went, what I got from this paragraph. While their parents are hunting, penguins live in a creche and are cared for by aunties. So I took that information from this paragraph. Eventually, chicks lose their down, which is called fledging. Then they can hunt for themselves. And I took this information from this paragraph. I did not include all the information. Today, you're going to have a chance to summarize one of the two articles that you read yesterday. And this is challenge by choice. So if you want to take a shortcut and do a really easy passage, you could choose to summarize this power of stink. It's short. You would have only two sections to deal with. I don't think it would be a big challenge for you. If you're ready for a little harder of a challenge, you could summarize this article, PU. There's a Google Doc where you can write your summary, make sure you name your text, and you can always flip back to this writing a nonfiction summary um, slide to help you um, know what to do. I can't wait to see your summaries. Please make sure you turn them in.